Okay, so here's our completed image. We did two in a five by seven hoop on the Dream Creator XE that is in a Novus 5100 by Brother. Like I said earlier, they will not be continuing this machine. So this has been stitched out and this is our background. It has a little ruffle here because I didn't properly pull it, but you won't really be able to tell once it's off. And this is a black twill. Um, it has the glue already on the back and it keeps it from fraying. And I get mine by the yard from stalls on a boat. So there it is. I'm gonna get this cut out and then we'll be moving on. Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> this is some parchment paper. Um, these work with doing, it works better on the heat press. But since my heat press is in the front, my camera's in the back. So I'm going to use the iron. It is set on cotton. And then we're going to put our, our patch adhesive. This is patch adhesive from Stahl. It, you can purchase it separately from the cotton twill. I know some people use Heat Bun Ultra, which is the purple, not the red. The Ultra doesn't have to be, cannot should not be sewn by directions on the back of the package from heat and bun however take your time go slow wipe your needle off you'll still be able to use it if you need to have to actually have to sew afterwards okay so it has a shiny side and a matte side we're going to take the shiny shiny side and we're going to place it into the parchment paper and we're folding it, the parchment paper over onto it just so it won't get none of the sticky adhesive on the bottom of the iron. We take our patch. We're going to put wrong side on the shiny side. I prefer to flip it down. Make sure it's under. We're going to close our parchment sandwich. And we're going to put the iron directly on it. Not going back and forth. Just gonna let it sit there. And like I said, this is easier with the heat press. More consistent heat, hold on. Because I unplug my iron. Be right back. Okay, fix the iron. Longest video ever. Editing will be a must. So, we got our patch inside of the parchment paper. We're gonna put our iron down. It is imperative that it stays flat no back and forth motion we're going to pick it up and lift it to the other side applying heat and pressure i'm going to do this for a couple of seconds maybe along in a couple of seconds because it's easier to do it on the heat press but this way we're doing it on the iron for those who do not have a heat press just keeping it down and this is going to heat it just to get the adhesive off of the paper I like to go on top and bottom personal preference I'm going to take it out and give it a look And there it is. And as you can see, the glue middled around. Don't want it to pull it off while it's hot, so I'm gonna fan it a little. And then it appeal right off. Then once it's cool, you peel it off. 
the back. And there's the patch with the heat seal on the back of it. And this is what it looks like. Now, normally when you do it on your heat press, all of these literally will be gone. But if you're doing them to sell, you just heat press it or press it with your iron, cut the paper back and down to size, and there you go, one patch ready to go. And thank you all for joining me here at Just So Sunny. Don't forget to click the bell and subscribe so once we go live or upload new videos, you'll be notified. Thank you.